guys welcome back yes i don't know what happened to the audio on this video but we just going to get one started and jump right in my eyebrows are just freshly waxed so i'm just going to conceal them well i'm going to just lay them down with this clear eyebrow gel from sephora i really like this eyebrow gel like it's one of my favorites and it's clear so it really don't give you no extra coverage but it's good for me because my eyebrows are thick I'm going in with my ColourPop concealer in I think 60 Golden Deep. Um, it's a six dollar concealer. I'm just going to conceal under that brow bone just so I can clean it up a little bit more, just so I can have that under eye looking really snatched. I'm actually using a ColourPop brush as well. NYX is one of my favorite uh, eyeshadow bases to um, use when I'm going in with eyeshadow. It's really thick and creamy and it gets the job done. And being so it's very light, it really pick up the color very well. I'm setting my eyeshadow primer with um, translucent setting powder and going in with one of my all-time faves, my Huda Beauty Palette. Um, it's the Warm Obsession Palette. I'm going in with Pet Emotions for this transition color first, and then I'm going to build it up. You'll see I build it up until I feel like I've got the color range that I want. I pack, I blend, I go side to side. You really got to just work it in. I'm going to cut my crease with my own um, ColourPop concealer again and cutting your crease is self-explanatory. I'm going to set my cut crease with a translucent setting powder and make sure it's all blended out. And then I'm going to apply the brown shade that's in this Warm Obsession palette just all over my lid space and pat in motions and make sure I cover everything. I'm going to go in and I'm going to wing that eyeshadow color out a little bit. And it might not be perfect when you first wing it out, but you can always clean it up with concealer, so don't worry. Or you can just use a smaller brush, anything. I'm going in with my heavy metal glitter, the gold shade from Urban Decay. And I'm going to apply that all um, in that space between my cut crease. Now, the heavy metal glitter didn't really do what I wanted it to do. It left like little specks of sparse glitter, and I kind of wanted that glitter um, cut crease to be a little bit more like uh, filled in. So I went in with my NYX glitter glue after this, and I put in a gold and green pigment. It's like goldy green, and um, I don't have that clip. I don't know why, but I went in and I filled it in. So you can see right now the gold looks like it's just everywhere. So that really worked out well. So um, I will list that pigment on the screen or down in the description box somewhere, but I had to fill it in more because I didn't want the glitter to be sparse. That primer that you just seen me put on my face is from BoxyCharm, and it held my foundation for a long time. And um, BoxyCharm is really a good subscription box. I really like it. You see me go in with my Sasha primer as a matte primer. I always use two primers for the most part. And then I set my primer with a translucent setting powder. It's just an extra step because I'm an oily skin girl. I'm going in with my Becca Ultimate Coverage Foundation. It's in my summer shade. This is a full coverage foundation. I'm going to blend it out with a Luxie brush that I just got from my BoxyCharm. Um, this is foundation brush, and I really like it. I really don't grab these flat brushes for to blend out my foundation a lot, but I really like how this brush, this brush, sorry, blended out my foundation. Going back in with my ColourPop concealer, I'm just going to conceal, and then I'm going to set my concealer, and so on and so forth. This tutorial was supposed to be a chit chat, like get ready with me, and I'm, I was going to tell you about my um, trip to DR for my birthday, but I don't know what happened to the audio. So, we're going to have to talk about the DR trip on another video. So I'm blending out my concealer with my foundation brush. I never did that before. It was next to me. I grabbed it, but I'm not mad at it. And I like to pull my concealer all the way out to the side of my face. And that's how I like it on me. Everybody do, does their own thing that fits their face shape. So I went in and I set my concealer. Now I'm contouring with my um, Sephora foundation stick in Ebony. I'm just blending, blending that out with a brush I got from BoxyCharm 2. This contour and highlight palette I got from BoxyCharm is a cover effects palette. Um, the 
deepest shade in there works really well for my skin tone and probably someone a little deeper it blended out well i also used the blush in there um, it was like an orangey br brush i'm sorry an orangey blush excuse me and i also used the, both of the highlighters and i mean beautiful palette i mean boxycharm is really doing this thing now I, Every time I get my boxy charm every month, it's at least one or two things out the box that I really love, love. And sometimes I get a box and I love everything, like absolutely. So I really think the boxy charm subscription is a good um, subscription to have. The blush was really nice. I love a orangey br a brick color blush. The contour shade fits me well. Look at them rosy um, highlighters. I didn't use the middle orangey shade. That's supposed to be um, for all over face setting, but it wouldn't work for me, so I didn't even go for it. I probably would use that as a blush. But I like to go in lightly and just build up my highlighter because, I mean, it can really get out of hand. And... I know I was just going for like a subtle look with everything going on with the eyes. Hey girl, I think I'm gonna come back and finish everything else off camera guys and come back and do my lip. So guys, we are here. Guys, if you want like some deep source information about the unit that I have on, I got this from Made by Mason in Philadelphia here. It's a full lace um, a unit, I think it's Body Wave. We're going to go in with a brown lip liner that I got from BoxyCharm, guys, this month. And we're going to go in with, I want to say Peachy King or Peachy from the Shayla Times ColourPop collection. I totally forgot the name. We're just going to apply that all over the lip. I was going for a real new lip. This really didn't give me what I wanted, but I just worked with it. Yeah, I'm, I'm not feeling I'm trying to like, you know, fill it and look. I think I'll apply some gloss. Yeah, so this is Max Spice. Spite. And I apply that all over my lip. And I was really like shocked how full coverage, I mean, this Becca foundation was. Like, I haven't used it in such a long time, but when I now that I see it, I'm like, baby, this is a nice foundation. I need to get this in my winter shade. This looks good. My chin looks small as shit. Y'all see it? It looks nice. I can't, I don't know how to act. I was really skeptical about my eyeshadow, and I was like, keep going, keep going, and it actually came out really nice. I'm glad I worked on that glitter cut crease. It came out to my liking. Guys, this is the end of my video. I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys on the next video. I'm giving you all type of body with this eye movement, with this eye language. Look at that. Yes. I love it, guys. I will see you guys on the next video.